Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to the Bitstar channel. Today, Shaggy is back for round two on our channel. It's a notable brand when it comes to charging and power banks. Like his bigger brother, the Storm 2 that we've reviewed in the past videos. Links in the video description. Today, we are taking a look at the smaller sibling, the slim version that is nearly half the size yet power outputs 100 watt as well. Design-wise, it's quite similar to his bigger brother, the Storm 2 right here with his cyberpunk inspired design when it comes to his see-through components right here and flip around you can see the batteries assembled right here in this fire rated somewhat fireproof plastic enclosure right here so when the battery goes kaboom it does not technically melt the plastic that's what they claim to be because it has this uh, special material called UL94-V0 fire rated enclosure now aside from that end to end to the middle right here has this aluminium heat sink to help cool down the components as well as the battery to some degree there's still a minor heat issue i'll explain in greater detail towards the middle part of the video now the more important part of getting this power bank is definitely the information panel right here so this is an ips 1.14 inch screen right here you can see your wattage when it comes to in and out voltage amperage battery percentage battery voltage your amperage for your battery in use your temperature when it comes to the batteries and the chip itself and you long press it you have other information right here your battery information in greater detail basically how you want to see whether in the metric systems in celsius or kelvin your timer your display timeout and manually power off the power bank itself so if you know about the bigger brother the storm 2 essentially this is half the size or nearly half the capacity so this is measuring at 156 millimeter by 65 millimeter by 31 millimeter despite its compact look right here it feels dense it's weighing at 447 grams now if i put side to side with the storm 2 right here we can see it's a tiny bit longer but when it comes to its overall top profile it's nearly half the size right here if i put it on its tall profile right here you can see it's a little bit taller it's just half the size so basically if you don't want to carry a heavy and more capacity brick right here you just need a decent amount of capacity that still offers 100 watt charging this is a second choice for everyday carry just to make your backpack feels a little bit lighter now not to worry the package also includes as follow it's a soft pouch right here with the ends you can tighten it as well as this cable right here oh boy oh boy i love shark gig they always provide good juicy stuff now this cable right here i did validate it it does support 100 watt charging and this is a usb 3.2 or usb 4.0 gen 2 x2 cable right here so it does not only support 100 watt charging but it also support 20 gigabits Per second transfer speed as well so this is good if you want to use it as a type c to type c display data transfer you're good to go are you tired of overpaying microsoft operating system or software licenses look no further than software keep as a microsoft certified partner software keep sells only 100 genuine microsoft license at affordable prices back with a full year 24 7 customer support with over 100,000 customer feedback from various rating platforms such as Google Rating, ResellerRating.com, Trustpilot.com, and Review.io, SoftwareKeep is the trusted source for your software needs. All purchases are safe and secure and every product is approved to be on shelf by Microsoft. And if you're not sure how to buy the license on the site or have further questions, there's a customer support there to guide you every step of the way, even after you buy the license. And here's the best part, use discount code BTYT20 at the checkout and get a further 20% discount on your entire order. And remember, don't overpay for Microsoft software and operating system licenses. Visit Software Keep today to experience affordable and genuine Microsoft software that you deserve. On to battery performance. Now, this pack right here uses the 21700 Type Cell from Buck. This brand has been used in various high capacity power banks coming out from China using this 21700 type for its overall good cost to performance ratio. Now, each battery 
cell right here is rated for 5000 mAh at 3.6 volts each. There's a total of 4 batteries for a total of 20,000 mAh setup right here which roughly translates to 72 watt hour package right here which is within the travel flight limit if you're traveling by air. And again, because it's lithium battery right here, expect it to have 80% battery capacity after 800 cycles. Now, based on my test, the total capacity charge into the power bank was 77.15 watt hour, whereas the total charge out of the power bank right here was 60.25 watt hour, which roughly translates to the around 78% actual charge capacity right here so again i'll share my thoughts about this in the summary but when it comes to the layman terms in terms of like charging everyday items like your iphone 13 pro max from 20 percent to 100 percent this can charge 3.7 times whereas if you're charging something more power hungry like the macbook m2 pro from 20 percent to 100 percent this one is around 0.9 times worth on to charging performance, now this slim version right here only has two USB ports right here whereas its bigger brother has three USB ports, one type A, two type C and a DC input output port as well. So that's the only major difference right here but let's focus back on the slim version right here. Starting with the USB-C port right here, it supports power delivery 3.0 standards in and output now the input rated charging speed is 65 watts i managed to get at 64 watts which is close to advertised while the output right here of the type c is rated for 100 watts i managed to get even better at 112 watts which is 12 watts more than advertised a plus point right there whereas if we turn up a little bit to the usb a port right here is supporting Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 and this is rated for 30 watts output. Based on my test, it managed to go up to 31 watts which is performed as advertised. Now, I also tested multi-port charging right here. Now, it's rated for USB-C at 100 watts whereas USB-A is at 30 watts for a total of 130 watts. I managed to get around 140 watts which is slightly better than advertised. Now the unfortunate news is this power band right here does not support pass-through charging. That means if you are trying to charge a Type-C in and a Type-C out, it can't do so. Unlike its bigger brother right here, it can do so with the USB in, USB out or Type-A out or vice versa. So I wish in the slim version they actually support pass-through charging which a lot of their competitors are doing. So here's the summary, the battery capacity efficiency right here did not hit 80% and above, it only stays at 78%. This is slightly due that the BMS right here is not so modern or robust as the Storm 2 right here or the battery pack itself is the issue because it requires more charge capacity into the cells right here for them to store a certain amount of capacity and when you convert back, it's that's the output that is not so efficient. So I'm not sure whether it's the BMS or the battery but I do suspect it's the battery because unlike the bigger brother right here, depending on which country region you are, it supports either the LG Chem or the Panasonic cells which is better than the China Buck battery cells branded one right here. Next is, I noticed that if I'm trying to do sustained long sessions of 100 watt charging from 100% to 0% of this entire battery pack right here, I will see a numerous amount of battery high temperature warning. Uh, I checked it's not the sensor, it's basically overall the battery that trigger it and when I touch the aluminium ends, especially the bottom right here and the sides right here, it gets very hot to the touch. Now, I didn't experience this on the bigger Storm 2 right here. This one can just charge 2 max easily, 100 watts plus, and the sides of the aluminium is still warm to the touch. This is hot to the touch. So again, when it comes to overall efficiency, the bigger brother is there. As much as I'm poking fun at all the little nitpicks about this power bank right here, I would say it's still a flawless, still has some flaws, but basically if you overlook that and you're not stressing this power bank for 100 watts sustained continuously, this is a decent size, decent weight to carry around in your backpack 
uh, as your everyday including maybe your desktop charger your two cables your macbook pro ipad iphone and a bunch of iems that you want to carry with you or headphones you want to carry with you this actually makes a lot of difference because this one adds additional capacity when in your in a pinch still offers 100 watts charging and more importantly it is nearly half the size and half the weight of the original bigger brother right here yet retains 100 watt charging right here so again i would still recommend this power bank right here to apple users or macbook ipad and if you are a video camera person or photographer this power bank is good to charge out your drones your gimbals and anything that requires pd 3.0 charging it's still a good option to have in fact if i'm just carrying on the daily i'll just carry this if i'm carrying for outstation three macbook work for my three editors i'm going to carry both of them either way both of these complement each other neither replace each other it's just your what's your opinion what's your choice you want to go high capacity low capacity or you just get both of them like i do right here thank you so much for watching this video i would still recommend them i will provide links in the video description remember like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next review let me know in the comments below what other power banks or power station i should review next and i will try to get them for you to view and you know experience with alongside with me so thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video